Shepard on CT Outdoor Show. We're on location with D&D Wildlife Control. Um, I just did a couple videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're in Southington, Connecticut, and I want to do a fast video to, I guess what you'll say, do a myth buster. See the skunks are going in right there? I got one over there. Just covered it up. See the trail? See this? This is all their tracks, okay? They're living under here. And I see a lot of times on social media how people say, I threw mothballs. Look at this. They've been there for a week. See the mothballs? The guy put them there for a week. You can see the skunk footprints right on them. Okay? I'm not trying to be the bad guy or anything here, but mothballs do not work. Okay? I don't care what anybody says. Um, I've been doing... Nuisance wildlife removal professionally for 30 years. I have many pictures of mothballs in attics, mothballs under decks, mothballs under porches where skunks, woodchucks, or squirrels were going in. And the myth is, oh, they don't like it. Oh, no, that's not true. Okay. What it is is in certain situations with skunks or woodchucks, they have more than one den. And you put the mothballs in there. And that woodchuck or that skunk just happened to never come back to that den site. And you think it worked. It did not work. So again, as you can see, see the skunk footprints right on the mothballs right there? The skunks were walking right on them. And I got a skunk in that cage. All right. Thanks for tuning in to Trapper on CT Outdoor Show. Um, just wanted to show you mothballs do not work. Have a great day, everyone.